Anybody who knows me, I like to do a lot of casting, okay? I like to make, take rosin and our acrylics or what I have like that, and then join them with a variety of materials, wood. Uh, uh, some of you have given me uh, uh, scrap wood, and I'll fuse them together into uh, either pens or bowls or whatnot. And this right here, I took some, um, some uh, number two CA, or, or medium CA, and drizzled onto a, a brass pen blank, a Sierra pen blank, and then took glitter and drizzled the glitter on top of that, then patted it on there so it adhered to the uh, to the CA, let it dry, put it into a mold, and uh, turned it to that. And the really, I mean, it looks nice right here, but it looks even better when it's in the sunlight. As you, as you rotate it, 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 the facets of that stuff reflect the light all the different ways. It's really kind of cool looking in, in, the, in the daylight, okay? Uh, but it looks fine right now, so that's what I do. Things like that. And then I guess there is who? That's mine. That's you? Aha! Uh -huh. The maker of toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk, talk to us about it. It's just something, something I was messing around with um, so I can get a little time in. What kind of wood? I was messing around with it, with the wood, you know, something to um, so I get a little time in on my husband. What kind of wood? I think that was uh, on that piece of the piece I just picked up, you know. I picked it up off the floor. Found wood. Yeah. Oh, oh found wood. Far, Ford wood. Found on the road dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Is that a captive ring or is that is that, yeah. is that floating? It's captive. Yeah. There you go. Well, you, that, that's more than just messing around. That's that's yeah. pretty good. Just, you know. <laughs> pretty cool. I like that. Hurt me cool. The bowl? And the bowl is out of oak. Who? Out of oak. I gotcha. It's got, a, it's got on the oh. side, it's got some meat stuff on the other side. I bet it does. Okay. Did, you, did you, did you, uh, how did you mount that? Did you, uh, I can't tell from the base. Is there a, uh, did you mount that from the, from the bottom? A recessed chuck? Yes. I gotcha. Cool. I like it. I like all wood though. What is that? Is that, is that one of the uh, John Branson things? Oh, that's a Larry story there. Oh. Larry. Nothing more than I want you to see the car that we're getting away with it. Oh, yeah. We, we got 30 yeah. pins that members turned, and with each pin, we're going to give them a card that says uh, something. something. Turn it a little bit more. Read it, Buzz. We're going to give those pins to the Glancy Hospital system. They're the ones that donated the wood that we made to Glancy. I would have told you about it, but they didn't have me tell about the Saturday time. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and get there. Okay. I, I, I'm allowed to take my meeting. I can, mess, I can do things the way I'm messing up. All right. I'll yeah. mess it up on my own. Thank you very much. All right. All right. I assume there's that two bonds. That's me. That's the scroll saw. And uh, just like I said, I didn't turn pens, I didn't turn pens, I didn't turn pens. I finally, I'm noted for turning the one in the corner as the, uh, the big ones, which are seam rippers. I've turned three, four hundred seam rippers, but I decided to do a few pens. And the biggest sellers stay right there, go up a little bit further, up, 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 right there. That's my biggest seller right now. You laugh at it, those are phone, mobile phone holders with a stylus. And they turn at the bottom, so they'll go on huge phones that have huge cases on them. And you can just type them down. Yeah, they'll show them to them. And, and so they work really well. I sell them for 20 bucks, and I can't keep, I can't make enough of them. Really? You sell them on too cheap. Uh, 20 bucks is to me is fair when it's $7 for the, $7 for the. Uh, let's see. Well, you can do them that way, but really they go the other way. No, just like they are. Now turn the phone, whole phone. Just lay your phone. No. That way? No. No. 
Oh, oh. The, 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 the brass is up at the top. No? Does it come with a picture that shows you which way to turn the phone? <laughs> 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 like that instructions. We have two technical people here. You can do it like that, but it's really not making the go like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it can go like that. Yeah, you can do this but they, they do right well. These, these, are the, these are my normal seam rippers, which, you know, they sell, they sell fairly well for people because most people that sew are what? Older, so they have arthritis and whatever. So if you make them big, uh, then they do it because most of the seam rippers are smaller than that that they have, that they're using. Um, the other ones that are fine, this is a new seam ripper right here. It's on a chain. So if you need to do a single one, you have it around your neck and you can, you can do one, but if you need to do more, you just pull. And it's got a magnet in it, so it, it uh, does a good job that way. Um, I, I guess my question, Hans, and I, 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 I want to ask this because obviously you've done it and obviously it's working well for you. I've, I've, I've kind of thought that maybe the pins were kind of more or less passe. I mean, we're, we're, we're in an electronic age, how many people actually use pins, but do people still use seam rippers? Oh, yeah. See what else? Oh, you, oh, yeah. There's not another fun. There's not another function out there to do that job. I don't care how many electronics you can get, and you have to take out a seam or take out temporary stitches. That's the only that's tool. It, that's, huh? that's the only tool that's used. And the huh. people, there's people that have no idea what they are. And I can say, ask your great great grandmother, and they'll know. But I'm just saying. But most of them will not know what it is. But the ones that do. They, they like them. Cool. So, and from a pen standpoint, pen standpoint, I started doing the the small, the mini, the mini, uh, mini, the mini bullets. You know, for those that have done it, they're kind of they're kind of fun and kind of easy. Uh, this is not. I did this just for the fun of it. This is what they call the revolver pen. So when you push it, it it turns in the middle. But you know, I don't. I haven't sold any of them yet, but it's a fun, it's fun and different, and, uh... Actually, that's, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, okay, but, um, I, I experiment around with, uh, different things and, uh, casting and all that, and, uh, old, old, old watches, uh, used to have a, 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 a thing called radium, radium, excuse me, radium, that would, that would light up the, uh, the, the, uh, the, so you could see the, 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 the the camera and see the uh, watch in the dark, okay? And uh, what I did is I took apart an old watch and poured the radium inside a bowl and mixed it with the, uh, the uh, ac acrylic. And then if you take the photonic generator there on the top and, and shake it real hard, it, it'll light up the, uh, the, the stick. So. Characteristics of it? Wood. 
Let me write that down. Literally, I don't think that's what it was. That was hard. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to get told for saying something without announcing their name. This is Joy. They picked on me last week. Yes, that's mine. That's for my niece. It's uh, a few months old now. And we have something from Joy that wasn't made three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the date. That's an upgrade. Okay, we have one ink pen. Stuart was going to show, but he's not. Uh... Well, somebody's not pointing the camera. Uh... You can't find the hole. Behind the hole. You want to talk about this thing? <coughs> There was nothing significant about any of the pins. A couple of them were ones, those later color ones. My cousin asked me to make those for some friend of his. He's the one that works for Micromesh. And I told him, well, I'll get Jack to make a blanks, but you're going to have to reward him with the Micromesh. Not that, like I didn't have a drawer that full of them, but anyway. So that was my latest turning. Do so I go over to schedule? All right. Who's this? Claims this. <coughs> I'm David. I don't know. <coughs> I ain't in a restaurant in Canton called William Brothers. I have a table man. It's for the kids to go on and what have you. So I just took that. Stole I'm going to give it to them. They don't know me and I don't know them, but I think they're going to get a something they ain't got. Alright. Got here a pair of earrings and a pen. 
this be Dan stuff up I, there. I made the earrings oh. without staff cutting them. <laughs> My name's Kay. Yeah. It's first time. Okay. Yeah, and he made the pen. Yeah, the pen's mine. And with the uh, kelp and in it? Yeah. Say your second one I ever made. Yeah. There. I wish I could last one. Yeah, yeah, dyed the wood, dyed the pine green, and it ended up just dying the very outside of it. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 is, 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 the green, is it green dye, or did you actually cut it in? No, it's green dye. It's, it's green, green dye. I got you. Green we'll dye see. on a piece of pine. I got you. That I put in there. All right. And those are mine. Uh, that, that's a teaser for what we're going to be doing next week. Yep. Uh, the ones on the front row were done with a scroll saw. Uh -oh. Don't be too shocked now. I used a scroll saw <laughs> and a drill press. And then the back two rows are done on the lathe and the drill press. Um, the front two rows are, have uh, T-nuts and the back one in the, in the back is a threaded insert. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was late when I was, got home last night and I figured it was time to do something. That is not finished yet. What it is, it's, if it's got a backing board and I'm, I'm debating, I've never done it before, I'm talk, thinking about painting the backing board blue with the blue sky. I don't know, I just, it's this idea. But it's just, uh, just a fret cut with the uh, birds out of birds out of the free wood. I have no idea what it is. And then uh, Mr. George and Mr. Marcus gave me some <coughs> patterns for some uh, uh, light things, so I, light plates, so I did that last night, just to see what it would look like. Uh, I think I got a bunch of them. There's even one of them. I, I want to say it's a naked lady, but at eight, nine years old, I mean, you know, that's, I mean, that's when you can do it. You can still do it, okay. Okay. Uh, that's just a, that's just Fret work, fret work that I do. That's the farmer's cross. Uh, the worst part is down in the very bottom. That that grain, that waving grain, is a pain in the butt. Because uh, it's so thin. But anyway, that's that's out of oak three quarters. Looks like a good application for a style of wood, right? Nah. <laughs> Somebody else's. Okay. Okay. The other one, uh, that's just, I was asked to bring some stuff for a thing we're having this afternoon, so that's just, that's just about, that's my normal. I do all animals and I put the name of the animal in, in, the, in the item, and the camera just went off. So, uh, you'll come back. Not here. That, that's all right. The just camera keeps running. Just go. Connect it. Yeah. Okay. That's another one. That's just a, a normal, simple, simple puzzle type thing. It's uh, you know, it's what people want. Now the back one's an interesting piece. The back one that would be the third one I've made for this customer. Uh, it was a customer at a uh, craft show that needed a sign, so I made it. And you'll notice it's got it, it's oak from uh, Ricky's thing. I didn't sand it. I left it in. That's what they wanted. But I call it, I call it one inch, it's one inch oak. I cut it, take the letters out, cut the, cut the inside frame all the way around so that piece came out. And then you can either resaw it, sand it, or route it. And, that t and then that makes it thinner. So turn it over, turn it, look at the backside. And, and then what you do is, then what you do is put your letters back in. And that gives you that recessed, recessed look. I haven't seen too much of that. I may, we may have a class on that, what I'm saying. But basically what you do is you originally cut the letters out, then you pull, pull, put the letters and, and stuff away, and then you cut, I cut around that inside rim all the way, it took that piece out, and then I just took it on the, on the bandsaw and resawed it to make it, you know, make it a half inch, half inch less thick, and then I'll put it back in and then put the letters, that gave it the raised effect. I mean, you could do that by sanding, you could do that once you had the letters out there, you could, uh, theoretically, I know that uh, Larry would probably route it. He would probably use a router. But. And William's Barbecue thing is kind of interesting because William's Barbecue came because 
you know that Marcus and George, I mean, when they together, they always go out to eat somewhere, it's usually barbecue. So I don't know if George was along this time, but there was the coloring book from William's Barbecue. So of course, okay. So of course, Marcus and his computer abilities, learned entirely by George, took that and made this beautiful intarsia pattern out of it. And so that's uh, they have no idea. And if you look real closely, he even. Even Willie is the is the guy whose uh, apron he has on. So uh, I think he's got you've you've taught him well, George. He's good he's good student. Okay. Yeah, but you don't know how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's at least one barbecue every time he used to go there. All the time. Okay, then we've got a co cobra, and I know that's back there. Yes, I made stand it. up, say your name, and stand up. And Joy Thomas. <laughs> and it's made out of uh, walnut, maple, uh, excuse me, walnut, sycamore, and cedar. Peruvian walnut. Cool. Yes, yeah. Peruvian walnut. Thank you. Which parts of the sycamore are the ones that go on? You can see the grain sideways? Brown. Scales? No, not the scales are cedar. The other is white part is sycamore. Okay. Okay. That's one of George's patterns. It was just another small shelf. I thought my wife was working on them, so I'd work on it at the same time. Kind of does better when we're both working on similar things. So it's just oak and uh, pine painted black. Just a simple pattern from Spielman. And what was your name again? Steven. Okay. He's really not forgetting your names. We were trying to show the show and tell as a video on YouTube. We'd like to put your name along with it. Yeah. That's mine. I'm uh, Dan. Uh, my niece and her husband are professional uh, 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 dancers, so I uh, created that for them for Christmas. Oh, okay, nice. Didn't notice one here yeah. and the other's here. Yes, sir, threatening the eye of a needle. <laughs> okay. Not taking another bag. That is also <laughs> mine. It's uh, a dragon of some sort that uh, my nephew asked me if I could go and cut it for him. Okay. I want to say this is either going to be Dan's or uh, Dan. Larry's. Dan. Let's go to Dan. Uh, I don't know if it brings stuff to show and tell for a scroll saw because I do very little stuff with a scroll saw, but that knob was made using a scroll saw on the drill press. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to make that Saturday. And when is that? Saturday. Saturday, okay. Okay, then I've got a plastic jar with knives in it. That's my next That's more of a question than a show and tell. Uh, when I'm sitting out on the porch a lot at home, I always like to be doing something. So I'm starting to go to yard sales and pick up these old knives with a wooden handle and try to refurbish them. And the one with a funny shaped handle, you'll notice how, how much somebody loved it by how much steel is taken away off the blade. How many times has it sharpened? No, no, the other one. Yeah, that one. This, this is Chicago Colt right here. So, yeah, put that in the camera so that you can see the blade. Let's see how much that's been sharpened. Zoom out a little bit. Nope. No, lay it down flat. Put the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know when it's good away. Now, see how much it's been sharpened? Somebody really used that knife a lot. But anyway, my question is, 
I'm still unaware. I put a tongue oil finish on it. So should I use a poly, a lacquer, or a shellac on the handle? I'm not sure. I'd say neither. Just leave it oil. Oh, just, just oil. oil. Just leave it oil. Because oil. 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 Yeah. most of like shellac or something like that, whenever you're going to have uh, acid on your stuff, it's going to keep right in. Your hands are oil. Just straight oil. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Just oil. Mess with that stuff. Okay. That's, that was my question. You, you see the real skinny one? How the handle is smaller on one end than the other? That's because there was a long crack in it. So I just chopped that off with my screwdriver and kind of sanded it. Chopped it up with your screwdriver? Yeah, I just took the screwdriver and plugged it in the crack and twisted it. <laughs> it's the right tool for the job. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, it's just something to do when I'm sitting outside with my headphones on this to the blues. I just pick up an old knife and start repurposing it. Okay, this is one that came on Saturday. You saw it, I made it. Uh, all free, free wood, this is, uh, you know, whatever. And I did it, and I, I had made the backing, but I was gonna make it blue. Well, it just so happened, when I went to Rob's house to help with some kids in a teaching session we had on Saturday, Bob was outside spraying blue. So I just gave him my piece and let him spray it. So that's what that's how it came out with the blue back. I usually don't paint my stuff. Okay, then there's there's an easy pattern. People like it. It's a puzzle. You basically got. Uh, I want to say this is this is poplar. I think, and then that's the cedar, and it's all, it's a puzzle, and they just fit together and all fit in. Is that a Steve Good product? Pardon me? Is that Steve Good? No, I can't remember where I got it. I've been one, making it for a long time. That was time. in the first or second issue of Scroll Saw Woodworkings and Crafts oh. Magazine. Yeah. One of the first it's two old, issues. It's an old pattern, and I've made it, I've, I've changed the sizes of them, and, because what's nice is it uses, uses very little wood. I mean, you can use little strips like that put together. Um, this is a sign I made. It's a interesting. It gives you that raised effect. We might do a class on it um, because it's kind of interesting. What you do is, in this case, I took a piece of one-inch oak, which which I in turn cut, okay, and cut the letters out, put the put the letters on the side, and then I drill a hole and cut that out so now I had this piece that had all the letters in it and then okay now I could either sand it and make it less see because I'm flush on the back side okay or I could use a router if I was uh, if I was uh, Larry but I would have to take four or five hours to make a jig <laughs> to get it to do the router but I just took it on the bandsaw and resaw it just resawed about a half inch off of it, and then I put it back in, and then put the letters back back in to give it that reset recessed effect. This is about the fourth one I've made for him. Okay, the question came up on Saturday: Why is it? It says forever teak. Guy didn't give me any teak wood. He's paying for it out of oak. All the ones I've made before, so we're going to cut that question out. Uh, so anyway, somebody keeps stealing them from him, so that's fine for me. I I, I haven't been telling him who's been doing it, but are you ever going to give them back? Huh? Are you ever going to give the other ones back? Well, I got to let them change a little bit, you know, or you know, he might catch on. Okay, this is a uh, light switch. A light switch. Okay. Oh, you wondered where it was. Okay. <laughs> now go ahead and put it back up again. <laughs> okay, and then and then this is what happens when you bring something in and you and you break it. You know where the glue is, right? I don't even know where I know where the piece is, so I can't glue it back. But anyway, so this is these are like I said, easy makes, use a ton of scrap. <coughs> you can use any size in here from basically a half inch to a quarter inch for the house. You can use anything from three quarters to an inch wood for the for the roofs on them and uh, the uh, the perch is uh, bamboo bamboo skewers drill a hole in the block before you before you start and just glue it in there and then this is uh, the uh, the plywood what's that spectrum spectrums yeah and what I'm saying and it's a three three-dimensional bird if you you look at it from that angle, okay? 
I make a lot of those. I make I make hundreds at a time. Okay, and then this is this is my normal. This is uh, <coughs> made out of oak. This is uh, uh, just a fretwork cross. This is, happens to be the farmer's cross. So you got the you got the weather vane. You got the uh, you got the barn. You got the animals. You got the uh, uh, Wheelbarrow, you got a rooster over here, you got thing, you got the windmill, which gets to be a pain in the butt. Uh, you got you got the farmer with a with a sigh. You know, a lot of farmers using sigh probably don't even most some farmers they don't even know what a sigh is. Um, then you got the tractor, and then this is the paint. The wheat and the and the stuff at the bottom are the paint. So but anyway, so that's that's How it. How long does it take you to do that? Um, I usually do it, it takes me about ten hours. It takes me about 10 hours, but when I do it, I do that much. And then I'll go do some animal puzzles. Then I'll do that in some animal puzzles. I'll do this in some animal puzzles. I'll do that and then do some animal puzzles. I'll do this and do this. Because if you work on it all at one time, you get down here and break this off, then I gotta throw it away. It ain't not worth it. So just you know, because it's it's really tedious. I mean, you can work on it all the time, but I'm saying roughly in that eight eight to ten hour range. Some are worse than that. The, my, the military one is, a, is one of the hardest. The butterfly cross is one of the hardest. Who's who's wooden uh, who's wooden things that are in the camp up there? Who made those? Okay, stand was... up to say who you are and, and go. Uh, I'm Valerie Cox. Ooh. I attempted my uh, first term on doing some honey dippers. That one. Okay. And the other one is a wooden mallet. You can either uh, beat this one, or use it for uh, woodworking. Hold the magic. Black walnut. And the finish on it is a mixture of a spoon butter, I think, uh, mineral oil, and beeswax. Yes, right there. Oh, yeah. So not going through. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite ugly. I want to turn over. 
some of these were ones that were done by Eric. He's making all kinds of blanks. He's done a few for me that I've given away to people for, you know, that was their particular country company. You know, that one was across in the sky, and I thought that was pretty sharp. This one's a fifty-dollar bill. It was just odds and ends. These were some I bought. I think it was, the style was called Orion, and I bought like twenty something. I thought, well, those are cool because you open them up. And they, they wrote good, you can have them like this, or you can have them set up with a quill type of thing. And I thought, they should fit on here when you're not using it. You know, but you, you just, you can't. So I, I, I was kind of disappointed in the kit for that. Anyway, that was just something I played around with this week. Bird next. Or the Air Force used to call them B1RDs. Call them what? B1RDs. That's my bird. I was just, I was trying to do something and play around with wood burning a little bit too, so I scrolled the bird just to play around with shaving. Just two sides. I, I like the, the shaving on this one better than the other, the other side. Yeah. 